Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach Spring Boot application step by step tutorial. Today is the first day. First we will see how to create the new project and configure the project. So go to the Spring or type on the Google Spring Initializer. Press enter key. The first link Start Spring IO. Click on this one. This goes to the respective website to configure the project. Here the project you have to select as Maven, Langley Java. Spring Boot, you have to take it as a lower stone here. Okay, we are going to select as this one. Right, it will be support every platforms. If you take it as a latest one, it's, it's, it takes some problems. That's why I have to take it as a lower stone. It's simple. Here the group name I am going to Spring Application. Whatever name you can give the Spring. Otherwise, you can give the name as Spring School. Right here, we have to give the name of the project name first app. Whatever name you can give here, description, whatever description you can write here. All right, here the project has been created successfully. This is the package when the project is configured, the package is created here. Here, comp spring school and first app version. You have to select the version of what is the version you are installing in Java. I recommend the date. Okay, it's here. I have, have already. Uh, install java version i have installed uh, java it here okay you have to go on the respective website and you have to install java jdk 8 okay right it's, it's the best right all the dependencies these are the dependencies must okay uh, First one is I am going to insert Spring Web. Okay, it's a build a web application. You can hear it's not of it, but uh, what is this container does? This is like containers. These are right. This is dependency. Second dependency MySQL. So type MySQL. It will be communicate with the data, full API database and with MySQL. Another one I am going to JPA. It's a codes we are writing. JPA. The queries, SQL queries, we have write written here in the JPA. In Java, we have write when you insert the record, you have write insert into the fields name and update the, the all the things managed by the codes here JP. Right? That's in this web application, MySQL JP. So again, first is the data SQL stores. You can read those stuff. This is the must, right? Okay. This is how we have to do the drivers, right? So uh, right now, let's solve this for Danny. Generate the project. Right, generate the project. Right now, let's go to our uh, IntelliJ. If you are not open IntelliJ, if you are not downloading in your machine, you go to the Google and you have to download the IntelliJ idea. This is the must, this is the best editor for. I recommend that doing the Java projects. Intel J idea. Go to the respective way, so you download them. Right? Okay. Right. They they given the 30 days free trial. Uh, if you are satisfied, then you will be pay and get the version. Right? This I recommend this is the best editor in the worldwide in Java developers. Right? The Intel J. Right, I already done it. Uh, I also get the demo one, right? Trial version. So I, I have to open my project. So how to open my project? I already I have downloaded the project here. It will be there in my downloads folder. I just cop cut off this one here. I have put it on my E drive. Now let's uh, get them. So how to get them here as Go to the file, open. I have to open it where it, my pro project is reside on the E drive. Uh, e drive. Okay, oh, yeah. sorry. I have to extract. I haven't extracted. Right click. Extract one. Right, first one. Right now, right. Now you can see the refresh. The one refresh.
it is there click don't open here okay if, if the folder is there you don't open your project can't run click and expand it here first step select this one select this one and click ok trust project we have to open it to here as this window now you can see this is your project you have to wait there here resolve the dependency of your first study you have to wait until the process completed then only the project all the stuff will be here it is there so you have to work with the project and otherwise you you are you you are not able to see any folders here okay when someone open where's my project folder uh, see uh, and something i went wrong and it, again he go to the spring initialization group okay you have to see in the taskbar here here resolving dependency of your, your site all the dependencies is configuring here okay wait one minute okay it, it will be all the dependencies what you are downloaded and put into a pump pom.xml okay, this is a, this is the main file this is art of spring boot this is a file to all the dependency configuration is we have to uh, do all the different uh, uh, dependency configuration this is all the dependency configuration here it will be loaded into your project that's why it will be take some time here resolving the dependency of a first step this is dependencies home.xm here you can see this is all the dependencies right here now it's not installed that's why it's, it will be installed it will be continuing your project right here you can check this all the things are done it will be here doing one by one it will be configuring your project right wait one minute okay, the, all the configuration is downloaded successfully you can see here right that's the thing you have to do here the project is configured successfully this is the first time right after that you can see here another one src folder inside the src folder you can see here this is the main if you expand its main java this is your main method in in java you can see the main method in uh, core java uh, this is a class static void main this is the main class main method of the project right in in spring boot you all the things are you have to see here this is annotation this is spring application boot annotation the annotation is must you must study the annotation this is must right our resources you can see the resources this is the templates for the template if you have you can put in the template right this is application dot properties this is a must right application not okay the port where you set and run the application if it is a database database configuration all the all the things are you have to put into this folder right uh, let's go to the form.xml this is the main part you have discussed about right form.xml the form.xml you can see here the, the file right this is all the dependencies managed by here this is, you can see the uh, when you configure the project we have to done the dependency of mysql it's there you can see here right out of the web okay here this one if you open it open up the, the web restful restful application all the stuff and jp this all the configurations there here it's a web dependencies it's a jpa dependencies okay you can see the dependencies over here right now if you want to add the uh sometime you are forgotten this mysql library dependency what you are going to do it is it is there not you have to forget it how to download again you go to the google and type simply and maven so mvn mysql connector this course a maven repository you have to okay confirm this repository click on this one here you can take it off the lowest one here this one i'm going to take it off this one here where's the dependency is the dependency you just copy this one this is the same dependency right this is how we have get the dependency for the mysql uh maven back to your form.xml so add at the line over here if we add it it's not configured yet here here m maven configuration load the maven changes click on this one here it will be resolving to all the dependencies right okay it's, it's now it's done right it's now done it's simple you have to do it like this that's why i have showed the things like this right this very essential stuff in order to do the project right now 
let's go to the this is the form.xml this is a java version all the things are there you can see here if you add the new dependency you go add to the memory repository you have to add it no problem right now, now I, I hope you have to have a good knowledge of form.xml right if you add the dependency maintenance you have to do it uh, you, you come here and do it right okay now let's go to the application dot properties here we are we have to configure the project right so now let's add them and i'll be explaining this one these lines right okay we are not typing this one i have put this code in my project uh, my website you will be able to uh, get it okay do you, do you don't have to type this one okay uh, spring boot application name i'm going to select as what is the name I have i have used it first app right first app this is my application the port which is the port you are running server port i just set as this one you can set any port you have to set as seven or eight any port you can set that now let's change as this one right is this one jpgl auto update your check as update you have to give us an update default after that driver mysql driver this is the latest driver you have to use it com mysql cj jdbc driver okay in in core java you have to register the driver class dot phone name the same thing you have registered as here after that you, you have to specify that your database is located where okay my my, my database is located on the my uh, i have given the data database name your database name i just give us school this is a database i have to use right okay the database the database it's a database uh you have to type the code to create the database right this is a database right your database is local loss right after that this is the data my username is uh, root password is i am set as root so here this this one should be our uh spring jpa you have set as like this my sql this one as default you have type this one it's a jpa you have type this configuration right you have to install the uh, mysql work bag you have to type dev mysql down this one you just go to the google and type like this simply you have to type uh, dev mysql work batch if you type this goes here click on this one download work batch here this one uh, this is not this one this is where you are not get the complete one uh, work batch you have to go to here you have this link you have to get this link i put it this one this one okay uh, dev mysql downloads installer Okay, if you are typed like this, you have it, this link. You click and download this one. You have to install the entire uh, MySQL driver and all the stuff, right? So it will be generated. We have to connect it to all the drivers. It will be installed, right? Then only you will be able to access the database, right? So after that, after the other stuff, go and connect the database. Here I have given while installing the MySQL database. I have the MySQL root uh, username root. Password I've typed root. It's a password. If you click, this is the port where it will be running. Okay. Uh, here this port is important. Okay. If you click, click OK, it will be connected. Okay. Here, no problem. It will be connected successfully. Right. <coughs> now let's go to the go here and run up the running. So running here. You click on this one. If there any problem with this one connection, you have see uh, it will be showing the error like this. Okay, now if you are install that uh, all the stuff are correctly, then only it will be running. Okay, you have to install the work batch correctly. That's why. Okay, if you are not installed the work batch correctly, it will be getting the error also communication problem. Okay, here now there is no problem. You can see here that its connection it with JVM is running. Your application is run and successful. This how we have. In, uh, you have to connect with the uh, Spring Boot application, connect with My, uh, MySQL server. This all the stuff will be done like this. This is a port where it will be connected. So everything it will be working. Here, yeah. it's working everything. The JPA, all the stuff are connected. If you get the message like this, started the first application, your JVM is working perfectly. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can let me know that. Thank you for watching.